Hi everybody, I'm Rob Schmidt. Welcome you back to Financial Planning 101 where I teach you how to make money and save money by explaining financial matters in a manner which you can actually understand. And I can't think of a better example than stock options in which Congress created a separate language so you have to pay somebody like me to explain it. But first of all, Happy New Year because I know 2010 was very challenging for many of us. I think 2011 a lot of science will be better. So, stock options. You have two aspects. First of all, if you're buying an option, that's called going long. If you're selling an option, that's calling short. Buyers have all the control, all the power. Sellers have the liability. Now, if you're buying an option, that means you're forking out anywhere between usually three to five dollars an option. And if you're buying a call, you're hoping that the option will go up. You're hoping the stock, rather, will go up. If it goes up to $100, $200 a share, $1,000 a share, that's what you get the stock for. This is not a situation in which whoever sold you the option, if they, got, if they bought the stock for $20, they didn't, they're not buying it at $20 and selling it at $200. They're buying it at $20 and unfortunately selling it for whatever the option cost. You have, you're making a big gain. If, it, if you're buying a call and it goes up, you're making a big gain. Uh, puts are a little bit different. If you're buying a put, it, it can only go down to zero. So, if you bought, it's a, if you bought, if it starts at 50, and you decide to exercise it, if it goes down to 10, well, that's 50. You know, minus 10 is a 40 dollar gain. Minus, of course, whatever you paid for it, it's still a great, you know, still a tremendous gain on your part, but not as much as a call could be. If you're going short, and this is very important. If you sell a stock short, your maximum gain is whatever you sell the option for. And if you sell a call and it goes up, up, and away, you have to give them that stock for whatever it is running at. If it goes up to 100, 200, you have to give them that stock at 100. You're not selling it to them at 100, you're giving it to them at 100. You've already sold the, the option. Uh, if it's a put, your liability is not nearly as great, but you know there is a liability now. The upside to selling calls and puts is if the money does not, if the stock does not go the direction uh, the the buyer wants it to, you know nothing happens and you just you, you made whatever the option costs. Also, options are usually only good for nine months, so you're looking at paying your marginal tax rates. Usually not looking at a long-term capital gain. You have to have a you know you have to hold the stock for over a year for that to happen and usually with options they're usually only good for nine months occasionally 12. if you have any questions or comments about what i've just said or if you have any ideas of you know financial matters you want me to discuss please share your thoughts with me in the youtube message center or you can send me an email at robs youtube at earthlink.net as is always, this is an audience-driven show, so I want to thank you all so much for being part of my audience, and may God be with you all.